What's up guys, my name is Dykron Shows here on this Destiny 2 video and today we're going to be showing you where the Xur is for February 22nd or for the weekend of February 22nd, 2019. He's going to be found in his regular location here on Io, so make sure you teleport over to the Giant Scar which is over here, make your way through the base and the section over here, he will be in this cave over yonder. This is his regular location on Io, he is here every time he is on Io and I will be standing here next to him pretty much and totally leaves with a high five so if you guys want to come by and give me a high five i would really appreciate it i've been sending you for a while nobody wants to give me a high five even the guy that almost has five in his name <sighs> anyways let's go talk to the zerg Oh, Anyways, moving on to the inventory. First off, we have the Graviton Lance. It used to be very powerful in PvP because of its just long range and incredible damage potential. It could nearly two burst people in the Crucible. Uh, basically, first shot does nothing. Second shot does an incredibly higher amount of damage, like five or six times the damage of the first shot. Like if the first shot did 10 in PvP, the second shot did like 54. It's absolutely ridiculous. And when you kill people, they explode and spawn void projectiles that track target. This weapon was very powerful in PvP. It never really had a place in pve um, and honestly with the nerf with forsaken and the bust with the new weapons and all that stuff uh, this weapon has fallen from grace it's really not that good and honestly you should ignore it especially considering the catalyst is the most annoying thing in the entire world it gives you like better aim assistance which is great for pvp but you also have to get 1000 cosmology kills which is this thing and that's a lot and I don't want to do that. Next up, the Orpheus Riggs, one of the best, if not the best, Tether Hunter exotic in the game. Gives you ability energy for each one of your Deadfall anchors, basically your Trapper class, the big Tether, and Mobius Quiver gets more shot. The, the super that basically allows you to shoot your Tether multiple times. So both of these are affected by it, but honestly, when it comes to this, honestly, use it for the big Tether. You get your super back from using your super on a lot of enemies. The higher value of the enemies, the more super you get. Basically, just infinite supers, infinite orbs that you're spawning your teammates and just an amazing exotic in pve there's some applications in pvp but honestly it's a pve exotic basically a 9 or 10 out of 10 pve exotic for hunters it's fan freaking tastic an excellent support role for the hunter as far as the roll goes standard leg roll from the zer uh, you have telesto dexterity you, or i guess now it's jotun dexterity and you also have hand cannon dexterity which are really nice for pvp and some of the pve uh, engagements and then last you have outreach for a reduction of your melee cooldown when using your class ability not really something that amazing for this particular legs and then lastly you have special ammo finder which is probably the best if not the best thing you can have in column three for legs column three for legs you can have primary ammo scavengers and special ammo finder and primary ammo finder uh, honestly special ammo finder is the best thing you can have and apparently this thing has an ornament that i never ever use next up the titan exotics known as the synthoseps one of the best titan exotics in the game because of its intrinsic perk giving you increased melee lunge range and improved melee and super damage when you're surrounded now surrounded counts as three or more enemies in pve and two or more enemies in pvp what surrounded does is it gives you up to i think a hundred percent more melee damage and then it also gives you 50 percent more super damage so if you're sitting there with the new juggernaut class i use this a lot with the new juggernaut smash class because you can keep doing your shoulder charges and you're pretty much always surrounded if you're going in hot and you're surviving everything because you're getting health back and you're titan in a super uh, and you just get extra 50 percent more damage it's fantastic for killing off those big boys making it so you don't have to use as many attacks to be able to kill them and on top of that we used to use it in things like argos where like a bunch of enemies were around you you start chucking those hammers and doing extra amounts of damage just an overall fantastic exotic universally accepted uh for any one of the classes it's just very useful as far as the roll goes the standard arm roll very very nice impact induction synergizes well with the melee attack giving more grenades from each melee and then both of these the jotun uh the Jotun rifle loader and then the hand cannon loader, great for PvP and PvE. And lastly, this last column, great for both modes. However, a focus on PvE because sniper and, and machine gun, pretty much what you want in that uh, third column. And lastly, the Aeon Soul, basically the Aeon series of arm pieces, one for each class, gives you an extra amount of grenade, barricade, or dodge energy, depending on your class. Uh, for nearby allies and if they also have aeon they get bonuses so the idea is that if everybody in the team has this or a large majority everyone's getting a lot of energy really fast i've never actually tested um how beneficial this is i could assume that it's actually really good but nobody uses it so nobody uses it so honestly just ignore it unless you want to plan on using it with your team again a standard arm roll for this synergizing uh not very well with impact induction because it's not dependent on melees uh, so you might as well go with one of these two and then finally third column is going to be the best kind of roll you can get with sniper and machine gun scavenger that's pretty much it that is the video for you guys today oh 
forgot to mention by the swords if you don't have it make sure you pick it up make it so you can have the easier nightfalls as well as the higher scoring nightfalls and lastly faded engram guaranteed to give you an exotic you don't have from before forsaken so if you have everything from before forsaken it's relatively useless outside of just getting a random roll for that exotic but again it's totally random so you could literally get any and that's it that is the Zerf for February 26, 2000, or whatever the hell it is. Can somebody give me a goddamn high five before you just leave me hanging like this? I'll be waiting. If anybody wants to come give me a high five, come and give it to me. Anyways, that's the video for you guys today. Hope you guys did enjoy. My name is Midnight Chronic, and I will see you guys on the next one.